Hello, I'm Alon Espy, Family and Psychiatric Nurse Practitioner with Team 5 of the War Room Daily Clout Research Volunteers. In reviewing the Pfizer documents submitted to the FDA for approval of emergency use authorization of the COVID-19 mRNA vaccine, we specifically looked at fetal and neonatal outcomes. One particular study of messenger RNA from COVID-19 and mRNA vaccines in human milk pointed to cytokines induced by the mRNA vaccine being passed to the infant during breastfeeding as a cause of concern. So we asked, what do we know about cytokines, their effects on pregnant and nursing women, and how are they related to mRNA vaccines in breast milk? Cytokines are small proteins released by immune cells to help regulate inflammatory and immune responses. Cytokines bind to a cell and signal to the cell how it needs to behave, which is why cytokines are often referred to as messenger cells because they carry a message with them as they travel through the body. For instance, they may give the message to increase inflammation or pain. Nearly every organ in the body contains cells that bind to cytokines. When a pathogen or harmful substance enters the body, immune cells, cytokines, and organs work together to respond. The first cell to notice the pathogen directs all other cells by creating and sending out messages or cytokines to the rest of the cells or organs which respond as directed. Because cytokines derived from the immune system are toxic to cells, they have been used against certain types of cancer. However, their clinical usefulness is limited due to their short half-life and wide-ranging unpredictable side effects. Cytokines help the immune system respond to diseases and drugs which modulate their effect and have led to some very beneficial therapies. Cytokines may be good when stimulating the immune system to fight a foreign pathogen, attack tumors, or reduce an immune response such as inflammation in patients with multiple sclerosis. On the other hand, cytokines may be bad when their expression causes inflammatory disease. Therapeutic modulation of cytokine expression can tell good cytokines to generate or control the immune system and block the bad cytokines to prevent damaging inflammatory events. However, according to Romani and others, care must be taken as some antibody therapeutics can cause ugly cytokine release which can be deadly. A severe immune reaction in which the body releases too many cytokines too quickly is known as cytokine storm. A cytokine storm may occur as a result of infection, autoimmune condition, other disease, or even after treatment with some types of immunotherapy. This phenomenon was first described in 1993 as an uncontrolled inflammatory response caused by an excess number of cytokines being released, leading to overactivation of other immune cells like T cells, macrophages, and natural killer cells. The uncontrolled activity of these cells can lead to tissue damage, organ dysfunction, and sometimes death. They were even thought to have been responsible for the high numbers of deaths in young people during the 1918 flu pandemic. A literature review of inflammatory breast diseases during lactation, health effects on the newborn, was conducted in 2008 by Wolfel and others, which revealed an imbalance in cytokines in breast milk may have severe consequences for the child, which in turn affects the child's development. Although a rise in cytokines in breast milk can activate a mechanism of maternal self-defense against infectious processes and may activate or stimulate the immunity of the breastfed infant, it is possible that a permanent oversupply of cytokines 
leads to excessive stimulation of the child's immune system and subsequent onset of diseases. Another study conducted by Damon and O'Shea in 2008 pointed out that evidence from epidemiological studies and experiments over more than 30 years in animals indicated that infection remote from the brain is a potential cause of cerebral white matter damage in human neonates. Since then, a large body of evidence suggests a link between infection and brain damage involving various mediators of inflammation, including cytokines. In 2010, Lyon and others conducted a review of evidence from human studies for the association of levels of cytokines in the blood in preterm labor and adverse early fetal outcome. The most consistent finding was increased levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines, which were associated with preterm birth. A follow-up study by Pickler and others found an association of cytokine levels in the blood with early infection and increased risk for neurological damage in preterm infants. Other studies reveal a correlation with miscarriages and cytokine levels. A recent study conducted at the University of Massachusetts found that immune responses to mRNA COVID-19 vaccination were found in most women's breast milk. The milk reportedly neutralized the spike protein in four variants of concern, with the potential to confer passive immunity to the breastfed infant against SARS-CoV-2. Overall, among women who reported any side effects, the levels of one pro-inflammatory cytokine were significantly higher in milk after vaccination than milk provided before receiving the vaccine. While the study showed antibodies to SARS-CoV-2 being transferred via breast milk, they also found that levels of antibodies or cytokines correlated with vaccine side effects in mother, that the mothers experienced. For women who reported mRNA side effects, levels of one pro-inflammatory cytokine increased by 2.5 fold after the first dose and more than 20 fold after the second dose. As I'm recording this, the FDA has just approved the Pfizer and Moderna mRNA COVID-19 vaccine for children down to six months of age. But the question still remains, are increased cytokine levels following maternal vaccination with mRNA COVID-19 vaccines that are noted to be associated with increases in maternal side effects harmful to infants who are breastfed? If you'd like to read the full report on cytokines, a cause for concern in pregnant nursing women, please go to thedailyclout.io. It's Naomi Wolf of Daily Clout, and I am asking you to please, uh, if you like the video you just saw, uh, support us, become a member, donate. Um, you can send checks to P.O. Box 24, Millerton, New York, 12546, or go to Daily Clout, D-A-I-L-Y-C-L-O-U-T, become a member or donate. Thank you so much for your support. Every penny goes for paying our hardworking staff, paying hosting costs, and paying our lawyers um, who have been uh, leading the fight to keep you safe and free to keep the Constitution safe and to keep you free. Thank you so much.